Hello everyone, welcome in, welcome to my crochet hook. Can you see I've had a reorganization of my yarn, I've had a bit of a de-stash. But first off, let's welcome everybody into the into the chat. Hello Ursula, I am looking forward to it too. Hello Miranda, oh it's Junebug's birthday, happy birthday Junebug. Katrina, welcome in, thank you for stopping by. And Nancy, we've got Nancy, who's saying happy birthday, I presume, to June. And Katrina's saying hello to everybody. And uh, hello, Angela. I'm doing well, thank you. And you're drinking water and working on your granny squares. Nice, very nice. Uh, Angela's saying hello to Katrina. Hello, Miranda. Um, she's saying, I passed the message along and she said thank you. Hello, April, welcome in. And who else have we got? Let's see, we've got. Um, hello, Petra! How are you, honey? Nice to see you here. And Veronica, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. And um, Jessica's here. If, I tell you what, guys, the chat has jumped. Right up, so I'm gonna to have to go scroll back and find my plates and my super pink bees here as well. Hello, and Zach. Hello, Zach. And Sarah's here, and Roberta. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Uh, yes, it's cold here in the UK and it's pitch black outside because our um, clocks went back last on Sunday, early hours Sunday morning. You always say Sunday, but it's Saturday. Before you go to bed, you put your clocks back before you go to bed. And um, help my super pink, pink Linda. Hi, everyone. Oh, thank you, B and Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome in. Jennifer is here in the UK. And um, everybody's saying hello to everybody else. Hello, Rita. Welcome in. Thank you for joining me. Hello, Jessica. And no, I, I, when I say hello, Jessica, all I can hear is Ursula mimicking Jessica's voice. Bless. Hi, Jessica. Hope you're good. And I hope you're getting on okay with your driving lessons. And um, everybody's saying hello. And Hannah's here. Hi, Hannah. Thank you for the email. I, I, got, the, I got the email. Thank you very much. And I love this flip flops and lollipops hello flip flops and lollipops how are you i just it just rolls off your tongue doesn't it flip -flop, it always makes me happy <laughs> not, not a lot makes me happy <laughs> but that does that's brilliant and ursula saying hello to everybody in the chat hello mel welcome in everybody so i just want to ask you all what's in your cup and what's on your book or knitting needles for that matter because i know some of us knit some of us are knitted hi sylvia welcome in welcome welcome and christina's here bella unciento hello christina oh my gosh they've had snow in ontario canada wow <laughs> That will make it even colder, won't it? Hi, Amy. Welcome in. And uh, I'm still going through. Hi, Angela. Welcome in. How are you feeling today? How's your mouth? Uh, did you get it all sorted for you? And um, Bonnie got knits is here. Hi, Bonnie. How are you? How are your little kids? Are they okay? And your goats and all your other lurky turkey here in the corner. Hi, LJ. <laughs> and hello, Erin. Hello, sweetie. How are you? You've been a good girl for mummy. <laughs> and Ursula's been busy with the uh, Simpson Turnpike cow. And Jennifer has got strawberry water and is knitting Christmassy bunting. Nice. Everybody's saying hello. I'm so much better, thank you, says Angela. That's brilliant. I'm really pleased. Really, really pleased. 
trying to mosaic crochet a beanie with llama pattern b show last week oh hannah i you'll have to share with us let us see it when you when you do it and it's it was minus three last night oh my wait sack i tell you what katrina you're going to definitely need all those mosaic blankets that's all i'm going to say <laughs> Hi Margaret, welcome in and hello Petra, how are you? And Caroline Latour, hi, nice to meet you. First time here, I believe. Welcome in and thank you for joining my little um, family. Oh my gosh, Katrina, I don't even know how you've got five on the go, I'm telling you, honest. <sighs> But you go, girl. You go, girl. Hi, Emma Walker. Nice to see you too. And your knitting charity scarf. Nice. And Sarah's got Yorkshire tea in her mug and bangers under the grill and Christmas baubles on her hook. Nice. Very nice, Sarah. I've had potato and leek soup and toast for my uh, for my evening meal. Hello Raven, welcome in honey, how are you? I was just asking everybody what's on the cook, what's in their cook and on the hook. I nearly went to do the wrong way round then. <laughs> I'm Saxis, um, Katrina's got a mosaic problem. No she hasn't, <laughs> she hasn't. I tell you what, next year when I start I'm more than likely to be as bad as um, Katrina. <laughs> oh, um, um, Amy's saying there's lots of charts, patterns of mosaic on Pinterest. I was looking at them earlier. I dare some go on Pinterest. If I've got something to do, I, I, I know if I go on Pinterest, Rick won't see me for a, a couple of hours at least, maybe more. Most of Christmas gifts. Oh, yeah, that's great. One way to make your Christmas presents, isn't it? love homemade soup i do i love i all also add some spinach and i've added i added cabbage into my potato and leek soup um and katrina says yeah she's been there um, amy and uh, everybody say hello to um raven and rita is saying hello to jessica which is lovely. When I fall in Pinterest hole, I only say if it's three hours later, tell the book because I've got nothing to show for all that time, nothing done. Oh, I know. I know. And I've got kind of, you know, my Pinterest world where I've dropped items into it and I don't think I've worked one of them yet. But I've got shawls, I've got ponchos, I've got all sorts, guys, all sorts on my Pinterest boards. <laughs> And thummies, guys, please. Thummies, if you don't mind, that would be brilliant to help little old more. <laughs> and April's laughing. So, guys, what are you? Um, I have got, I told you what's in my cup lemon and ginger in my crochet crochet hair one armed hooker yeah she had to come up didn't she katrina for a uh, some time so i have got well i've got six things that i need to get done by the first week in december that's my granny square blanket and rick's Christmas present is sweater, but I've not got any further on there. But what I'm going to show you now is what I'm wait I've been working on this week. So I be I'm testing Ursula's pattern, and this is what I've done so far. And I really love the autumnal colours in this, and I like the way there's kind of like the the the, it's almost like a, a grey, but it's I, I really really like it. And can you see the sparkle? If I should hold it up, you can see the sparkle. And I'm using Hobie 
universe. In Russell, and I'll get the, I've got, I've got two, two skeins of this. So, this. Hope you can see it. So that's what I'm one project. I've been flitting from one to the other to the other. Do you know what I'm like? Um, hi Tank, welcome in. Lovely to see you. It's lovely to see you. And um, Ursula's got coffee in her cup. Did did you get the pictures I sent you of being pink? Yes, I need I think I, I know I did. <laughs> and Sylvia's got two Ashton shawls, new circular needles, my sweet son gifted me from Clover, bamboo, a new amour hook, and more, and more hooks in 6.5 to 15 millimeter. Nice. It makes little butterflies, making little butterflies and three shawls and five woods to sew in at its oh my word i sew in the ends guys i sew in the ends as i go I tell you pattern really accents you accents beautiful colorway of it thank you dad uh, zach's dad's getting better he hasn't been getting dizzy like he was yesterday that's good news zach i hope he's okay thank you sylvia hi donna welcome in Raven's got ice water and is starting again on a baby boy mosaic blanket. Nice, Raven. Uh, that's beautiful yarn. Thank you. And the pattern is Ursula's. So that's one whip that I've been waiting on this week. The second is my three colorway challenge. And you know, I'm doing a bag a day herringbone poncho with the three colors. So I, I, um, I'm on to the purple now. So it's looking nice, isn't it? It looks nice. So it's a good job I've got more of this yarn, isn't it, guys? So that's another one. And I really like the herringbone, the stitch. It looks cool. And it smells nice as well. <laughs> And Sylvia's got coffee, and Sarah's saying good news, Zach. Hope he continues to improve. I love those two purples. Yes, there's two. Well, this is a purple as well. This is called aubergine. This is purple, and this is lilac. I know it doesn't look lilac, but if I move it back, you can see the different shades. So, but I'm really pleased with that. Yes, I wanted uh, one that would keep me nice and warm in the winter. And then, you know, I've, I've got a poncho order that I've got to do. The last one, I've done two and I'm on the last one. Hello, Suzanne. Welcome in. And hello, Ruby. Nice to see you. Welcome in. And Debbie's here as well. Welcome in, Debbie. And thank you, Rita. Thank you. And before we go any further, guys, I just want to welcome... Margaret G is my one of my gems, one of my new gems. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Margaret, for joining my family, my little gemstones, guys. Thank you. So anyway, so I've designed I've designed my own pattern for the last one, and I'm thinking I might do a tutorial on this. It's just simple. Uh, just a simple pattern, but I think it looks really effective with the with the colorway of the yarn, and it's the same. It's um, universe, but this is in the different shades of blue. So you've got navy, turquoise, light blue, royal blue. So I'm really, really liking it. So I think when I, I when I because it's two rectangles, I thought I'll get the one rectangle done and start the second rectangle and show you how to do the pattern and then um, write the pattern up. So that's that. So that's number three. Thank you. 
thank you. Uh, yes, it, it, it's um, it's beautiful, isn't it, uh, Mel? Okay. Hi, Julia. Welcome in. That's okay, Zach. Uh, the the shawl. It's the poncho. That's the bag of day, Sylvia. The shawl is Ursula's. It is beautiful. It is, and it's really nice to nice to. And Indigo Stars here as well. Welcome in, Indigo. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm glad you caught my my um, live as well. Thank you. Really nice to see you. Thank you. I know I like the blues. Really nice, aren't they? Yes, Raven. I will do a tutorial. And Jessica's back. Hi, Jessica. Welcome back. Did your mum have you go and heat up her coffee? <laughs> yes, we can crochet along in the tutorial, yes. Oh, look! I've got a new member. Welcome, welcome, Rita. Thank you so much, honey. I've got a new member, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just for everybody coming in, the, um, when you see the um, the chat and Nightbot drops links and there are uh, my members as well so if you can check them out that would be great not now not while I'm in with the chat later on but if you look in the description box all members are in the description box as well so if you you know if you see somebody in the chat that you think oh I'd like to go and check them out then please by all means do uh, all the members uh, links are in the description box so thank you thank you thank you and um whoo -whoo, rita says <laughs> raven says to rita and uh, i agree with about showing us how you do those rectangle ponchos yeah i it's all it is it it's not all it is there's a way to fold them so that they you know they sit nice this is this is the first one i ever did this is the first one i ever did and i tell you what guys i wore it last night because i was freaking freezing hold on get it right Linda. left is right right is left <laughs> there we are guys so this was a pattern that I bought that I made, you know, with the dragonflies. But I'm going to do my own with my own pattern, which is what I'm doing. So I think I might do that as a being sat here, you know, crocheting away. And it's so easy, it really is easy to do. And, um, and the nice thing about it is you can do if you're tall. Like Miss Ursula, for my height, I do 80 centimetres by 50. But for Ursula, she would maybe do 100 and maybe do it to 70. So you can um, do it to the height that you are, if that makes sense. I hope it does. But if it doesn't, I will uh, explain it all into the... Um, I, I'll explain it all in the um, in the tutorial. Thank you. I know I like it too. My mum's had her eye on it, but it's what's little old man. Thank you, Rita. You're more than welcome. Yes, I know diamonds and sapphires, and I picked the diamonds and sapphires because Rick's birthstones are diamond and mine's a sapphire. So I just thought, why not? Why not? Um, yes, yeah, so, and the last but not least, <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly, LJ. Hello, Nancy, hello, welcome in. Yes, made that style for me. I made that style for my sweet granddaughter. Oh, that's lovely, Sylvia. That one? That one there that is for my mosaic blanket for next year. Woo -woo. That's my challenge. I've got 
three challenges next year, guys. So, hello, Dragon B. How are you? I've not seen you for a while. I hope you're okay. It's still morning where you are. Well, it is here in the UK. It's 20 past five. So our clocks went back, so it's pitch black outside. So I've got lights everywhere just so you could see me. See, it'll be silly if you I went live and you couldn't see me, would it? You just hear my voice. <laughs> that wouldn't be very good, really. Will mosaic will be in blues? I'll show you. What? It's actually turquoise. I've got turquoise. And I've got oatmeal. If I go this side, can you see? Oh, it's blown it out of it. Maybe there. So it's turquoise and oatmeal. They're the colours. So this is this is going to be the prominent colour, and this is going to be the mosaic colour. Excuse me. Um, Nancy, go to Tina. Oh, <laughs> when Ursula comes up, she'll tell you. Um, and we can maybe drop the link to, and she does a uh, tutorial step one, two, and three. And she's absolutely a, a fabulous teacher, Tina. Uh, oh, you've been getting ready for a craft market. Oh, good. That's good. Well, I hope you're successful and you sell everything just in time for Christmas. Yes, it is very easy to do. If you can do single crochet, double crochet and chain, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. We go back this coming Friday, make the time change. I know I do. I do. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. That's it for Valdar. Tina for Valdar. Thank you, Ursula. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank you, uh, Katrina. Katrina's dropped the link to um, Tina's website. Okay, Angela, see you in a bit. And, um, and then there's Fiber Fox as well. She does mosaics. So you've got a choice of two there. Mind you, though, um, you have to be careful because, as Ursula said, when she went looking for mosaics, she got um some of them were a bit misleading and weren't actually tutorials so let me just show you my last whip and i've done a tutorial for this it's already on on my channel i've started i've been promised myself to do a christmas table runner and i've finally made a start and it's it's five wide five motifs wide and it will be just as long as the table is i haven't got a clue i would uh, i would imagine about maybe let me think maybe 40 40 long 40 five wide 40 motifs long but we'll see so I'm, I, i've been doing this and i'm using um Yarn Art Elegance, and it's red with a silver metallic thread through it. Um, it and it's a two. And it's actually chain spun. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is actually a chain spun. And it's really nice to work with, actually. Really nice. So that are my whips for now. And let me see. Hello, Elizabeth. Welcome in. How are you, honey? Hope you're well. Guess what? I was. Guess what? I was told Monday I get to work every weekend now until Christmas. Oh no, Zach. Oh dear. Oh dear. But it'll be good, really, because it'll you'll get more spendies. Tina does, yes, she does, Sarah, she does amazing um, beginner tutorials. And uh, Elizabeth saying hello to Katrina. Yeah, and Katrina says, yeah, you will be Zach because they will get really busy from now till after Christmas. 
Thank you, Katrina. Thank you so much. That's lovely. Brilliant. Thank you, Sylvia. Hello, Jackie. Welcome in. Hello. Working on my table runner also. I'm hoping to get it done by the end of the month. Me too. Me too, Margaret. Me too. Thank you, Elizabeth. How long do you think it will take to finish that table runner? Um, well, how many weeks? One, two, three, four. Maybe four or five weeks. Hello, Jeanette. Hello, sweetie. Welcome in. Welcome in. Everybody's and um, Chandler's here. Hi, Chandler. How are you? Are you working and lurking today, Chandler? So, shall we bring up my little side? side well, I shouldn't say little. My sidekick, my good friend Ursula. Let's bring her up into the chat, shall we? Might be a good idea if I added it to the stream. Hello, everyone in the chat. Hello, Linda. So good Hello, to see you. Good to see I've you had too. like a two or three day break from YouTube, and now it's good to see everybody again and yeah. to read everybody again. Coffee in my cup. It is evening here now, now that the time gap between you and me is bigger. So, it's dark so outside. It is dark here too. <laughs> it is. Hello, Pam. Lurking while I'm waking. You lurk away, Pam. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Katrina. That's brilliant. Oh, you're cleaning the house, Chandler. Good for you. Good for you. It's early for you. It's it morning. And everybody's saying hello. And Erin's just pointed in here and said, Mommy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. You have me laughing here because my eye caught that comment. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Erin, hello Erin <laughs> <laughs> I'm working while I'm working too Oh, thank you so much Elizabeth for joining me today Thank you, I really do appreciate that Don't forget the thumbs guys and the lovely Diane's here Hi Diane, honey, how are you? I don't seem hello. to see you as much as I used to I hope you're okay uh, Alma. Hi Alma, popped in for a minute to give you a thumbs up as making dinner so don't have long, enjoy, table runner looks beautiful, hi yes, lovely, thank you so much Alma and enjoy your meal, enjoy your meal, definitely, um, and that, yes, so, what else have you been up to then miss, Mrs? I've been knitting, I can't knit now because I, when I knit, Got to concentrate, so I can't knit while I'm with you. But I've been, uh, I can show you my progress on my Simpson Turnpike Cal, Ashton Shawlette. But it looks, it looks, um, you know, with the stitch markers in it, it doesn't look so nice. Let me just put the hook, put on how do you say that? Yes, ooh, solo and I are not friends. <sighs> Why not? You're beautiful, my friend. It feels like a, a, a ooh. <laughs> I look up and it's, ooh. So it looks like this. So you can see from that line is where I started today. So I've made quite a bit of progress, you know. So yes, like you that. have. You have. That's the, the center. That's the center. Uh -huh. And oh, are, you on the, are, you, are you on the last? Are you on? Uh, yes. So there you well go. Done. And then lovely. Beautiful. So it is going to be beautiful. And I tell you this, I can understand when I, I'm on your tutorial now. So there's all the stitch markers, which helps a lot because every repetition I add a stitch marker. And mine is not as professional as these people who knit every day. It's the crochet all-star. All color <laughs> stitch markers, you know. It doesn't matter. So anyway, I like it. I like it a lot. I do too. It's beautiful. It's going to be beautiful, and I'm glad I didn't give up. I parked it and I took it out for a drive today, like you said. So, mm -hmm. 
good. You said we must park it. And then when, when yes. you know, not frog it, park it. And then when you feel like it, take it out for a drive. So I did it. And then oh, today the so penny good. dropped. You know, I was watching. No, I have dropped. I dropped the tutorial. I watched a tutorial of. Um, I was stuck at row twenty one, finished row twenty one, row twenty two, and couldn't go further than because I couldn't understand row twenty three. And I was watching. I think um, Gina did row twenty that one. She did that tutorial, and I was watching row twenty three, and I was watching it a second time, and the penny dropped. <laughs> so I could complete so now i'm on your tutorial and i think i've got six rows to go and then it's done so Excellent. i'm glad you're doing fine uh, diane and <laughs> lj says i wonder how much it would cost to ship 17 kilograms to south africa which i presume is what uh, no uh, no no thank you you know what i wouldn't mind having another child but what i do mind is Putting them through the schooling system again. No, thank you. No, thank you. No. Hi, Marsha Lee. I'm fine. Thank you. Everything's okay here. I hope you are too. LJ, did she really say <laughs> WTF? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hello, Sharon. Welcome in. Oh, I know uh, it's, um, it is, it, uh, my clocks have gone back, so there's only four hour difference between me and Eastern, but next week your clock, well this week your clocks go back, so we'll be back to five hours. Can you drop the membership link please? Um, can you do that for me, the membership link? For who? Uh, Elizabeth. For Elizabeth. Elizabeth wants the membership, the membership link. link. Okay. Oh, the membership link. Okay. No problem. Membership link. No problem. No problem. Sylvia said it's beautiful. Raven says it's beautiful. Hello, Nana Michelle. I forgot hey, the time change. Oh, that, don't worry about it, Nana Michelle. I just so greatly appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. And uh, Debbie says it's beautiful, Ursula. I've had to park mine right now too. I'll get back to it when you can, when I can. That's fine, but don't forget you send your photos in, um, uh, Debbie, so that you can go. Not you personally. <laughs> your, you entry. <laughs> yeah, your entry. Your entry. Because on Monday when we did our live. I said, you know, everybody will go on the spinny wheel and then I just put bits of laughing because I can just imagine everybody on this wheel and we spin it round and everybody's on the And that's wheel. when you get the giggles because once you say something like that, your mind goes running, but everybody doesn't follow. <laughs> Their mind doesn't go the same way, the same April place. Says, uh -huh. April says, it's beautiful, Ruby. I like to knit, but I make mistakes and fixing them is so hard, so I get discouraged. I'm knitting a chunky scarf. Nice. Very nice, Ruby. Ursula, is that top you have on crocheted? I think it's one of her ponchos. Yes. Yes, it is. Do you want to stand it's up? Too, it's just two mandalas put together. Okay, let me get rid of my... Solo. Mosaic blanket. Wait, I've got a whole blanket on my lap here. Okay. Yes, it is. Um, wait, that is beautiful. I love that. Yes. I love that. So, yes, that's what it's like. It's just, I've got a sleeve, I've got a white sleeveless uh, t shirt underneath, and then this on top. And I usually wear it with my jeans, but now I'm wearing it with my. Skirt, long, full-length navy suede skirt. Nice, because it's evening. Very nice. There we go. I'm taking you off. Our time doesn't change till Sunday, says um, Jeanette. Oh dear. Yes, says you know your top is beautiful. Thank um, you. Oh, thank you, Katrina, for dropping the link. The link's here, um, here Elizabeth, if you want to see it. Um, 
comments. I've, I'm looking for the channel membership link in other it's, of your other videos in the description box. But maybe Nightbot, does Nightbot not drop it? Just asking. No, no, no um, it should do. I'm, I'm not sure where it's gone. And, um, I'll have to check that out. I thought it. Hi, Nisi. Welcome in. And Hi, she's, Nisi. Nisi says that's gorgeous. Hello, Laura. Thank Welcome you. in. Lovely to see you, Laura. How are you doing? How's your shoulder? Hello, Reggie. That's fine, Reggie. Thank you for stopping by. Puppies, guys, please. Oh, and Bill, look who's here, Billy. Hello, Billy. Lovely to Hello. see you. Hello. clap. Like the wait, wait, she's gone. <laughs> uh, this is Billy, the crafty Floridian, and she's just done um, uh, like a, a breakaway big, weekend. She, yeah, yes. with 17 other ladies. Crochet. I was so Lovely. jealous. I've been, I just started watching uh, one of your. <laughs> You started watching the one that you're explaining about it all, so I'm going to go back to that one. But it looked like you had fun. Um, Jennifer says it's very nice design, lovely colors. Hi, Reggie. Hi, 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 hi. Um, Dragon B says I'm looking for patterns for Hobby Color Bomb or Twister. I have one ball of different colors. Mm. Twister, isn't that like um, yarn art? Someone said that. Twister, yes, big twister. Yeah, I it's the same as yarn it's art. Yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't know. I, I only know, know yarn art. Yeah. Hello, Grandpa. Welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. And... Uh, LJ says it's so pretty. I need to make garments next year. This year is a write off due to a coming novice, noviceness and actually learning to crochet. Well, well done, you. I've seen the blanket Ooh. thing you show. That is beautiful. Everybody's saying hello to everybody. And we've got Miss Geraldine in. Hello, Geraldine. How are you? Welcome in and thank you for joining me. Oh, today. my prayer. Yes, she definitely. He is lovely to see you. Thank you for joining today. Everybody's saying hello to Grandpa, and Laura is getting an MRI scan on her shoulder next Wednesday. Still can't oh. grow, crochet, living vicariously oh. through all of you. Oh, I do. I, 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 you know, you, you have my sympathy wholehearted, heartedly, Laura. The thought of me not being able to crochet would drive me off the wall. She must be taking chill pulls because that's what I would need if I can't crochet. Something. Something. Because, I know. Uh, yes. I know. And Nana Michelle's just finished watching Billy's last video. Sounds like you guys had a blast. They did. Oh, they did. I saw the live. Um, I watched the replay of the live that they took just when everybody was leaving. And um, everybody saying hello to Grandpa and baby girl Luna. And uh, Tank saying hello. Hello, Paula. Welcome in. Woke up at 3.35 a.m. here, so please forgive me. No worries. Oh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you. And I believe... Paul is in Australia, if I'm not wrong. Yes, Paula Farrell with granddaughter yes. Layla. Yes. Everybody saying hello, hello, hello to everybody. Um, Laura says, thank you, Nisi. I hope you feel better soon, Crojo. Um, hey, yeah, Grandpa, says Amy. <laughs> Hi, Miss Billy, Miss Katrina, Grandpa. Everything. What's up? What's up? Uh, we had a trip of a lifetime to meet all those, all these YouTube creators. Says Billy, I bet you had a fabulous time. Oh gosh, we've got. It's okay. It's handled. Okay, thank you. 
fine. Taking chill pills for sure, Ursula. And J Reggie said she was very jealous of Billy. <laughs> We're all well, you know, you made it when the trolls are after you. I know it's just it's just annoying because it disturbs the chat and you know we're all friends. No, here all together. don't worry, it's hidden. It's hidden. We don't see it. It's hidden. Yeah, Hatton Court hidden. Twister. If you go to Hobie website, the Twister, to the Twister, you can see their pattern for this yarn. Thank you, Hannah, for that. Thank you. Everybody saying hello to everybody else. So, guys, I've got enabler alert, enabler alert. <laughs> the escort show will look great in nearly anything, Reggie. Wow. Yes, it will. It will. So, guys, would you like to see? Well, I've got three books, but one of the books you've already seen because Miss Ursula has already shown this book. Hello, Roberta. Welcome in. Hello. Hello, hello. If you're going to show books, are you going to just solo yourself? If you're going to show books, she so I can also yes, see clearly. <laughs> so she doesn't have to get her binoculars out. <laughs> She's showing what? But there is another <laughs> book on its way. So that, I'll show you that next week. So. I'm going to go solo, as Miss Ursula has said. So, you all know that um, I was uh, really disappointed in myself that I I just couldn't get on with the flower shawl, the flower valley shawl, and I frogged it and I put it away. I put the yarn in the garage and said, you will sit there until I'm ready. So I was a bit disappointed in it. So I went on to Amazon, as you do, guys, as you do. And I just bought in crochet shawls. And this book popped up. Ooh, poetic crochet. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that That's gorgeous. gorgeous? Wow. Does that hairstyle um, come with that, with the shawls? Because I'd like the hair, too. Yeah, me, too. I've got a long way to go again, guys. I've got a long way to get it through. So the book is by Sarah K. Hartman, but there are um, beautiful, beautiful shawls. And Hello, David. Here's a couple of them. Ooh, that's beautiful. It looks beautiful. Some of them are shawls and some of them are wraps. Um, LJ, LJ says, I need to show you the yarn I got for my Mosaic Blank Adventure. It's sparkly. Ooh. And um, so there are quite a few. Here's a few more. Oh, that's beautiful. It's oh, is it lacy? It's all lacy. Yes, all lacy. Look at these. Hi, David. Welcome. In. Welcome in. I love I'm it. Sure that I would like to try to make one. Yes, I really. It's only this year that I started making shawls. Yes, um, I haven't made many. Yeah. And um, there's this one. Look at this one, guys. It's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. That's gorgeous. And it tells you the finished size, the yarn, which this yarn oh, is listed always, and the hook size, and then but what I like about it, you've got a diagram, you've got them showing you how to do the stitch points. Yes. You've got the, wow. uh, the chart. Love that. With all the, um, oh, what do they call Yes. Them? Patterns and diagrams, instructions, everything. Like charts, like charts. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Really, really pretty. And here's a, a picture of the actual shawl. Debbie Puri is asking, can you tell us the name of the book again? Yes, of course. Poetic Crochet. Poetic Crochet. Yes, not Poetic Justice, Poetic Crochet. 
Hi, David. Welcome in. I have no idea. Lots of compliments. Can you tell us the name of the book? Yeah, I've done that. Beautiful book. Has it? Has it all? Lovely. Yes. Look at this one. I am spoiled for choice, guys. Oh, that is gorgeous. That's Stormy Skies. And that is a finger weight, which that yarn that I've got. But it also shows you what to do. You know, like it's in... It's like a, an, an upside down L, and that's the pattern, the diagram. And it's got the key and everything. And there it is, look, at the back. Oh, that's the, um, the edging. I love the edging. I think that is amazing. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Yeah, but they've all, they're all, I'll just run through some of the patterns. So we've got that one. So you know, oh, that's lovely. The, yeah. And uh, the link for the books are in the description box below. Then we've got the hope end. And we've got and the all come. Uh, I like the back of this one. Can you see the back? Oh of yes. It's really nice. Yes. And you get all the diagrams. This is beautiful as well. It's circle. It looks like circles, ovals, doesn't it? I've skipped the page, guys. But we've got enough to put on the yard. Look at this one. This is like looks like gossamer. Oh, how fine that is! How wow. would be, that would be a lace with that. It's gorgeous. Hi, Mrs. Purple. Welcome in. Hi, Coco. Welcome in. How are you, honey? Nice to Hello. see you. Hello. And uh, look at it. Look at it it's... at the back. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. It is, isn't it? It's absolutely it's so delicate. We've got wraps as well. And they're all crocheted, eh? Yes, they are all crocheted. Yes, yes. it's all crocheted. And so they give you, you know, the finished size, the yarn, the hook, the, what notions you'll need, and the gauge as well. So that's really, really good. Um, there's another one here called Avalon. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, that, that's a three weight. But what I like about the book, actually, they do um, lace weight, finger weight, three weight wasted weight so if you don't particularly like working with um dk a three weight or a two weight there are patterns in here that you can use four weight yarn you know like your mantle wow yes so um the diagrams are, 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 so you've got the written pattern as well as the diagrams as well i mean look at that that, this is the wasted wow. weight. It doesn't look wasted weight, does it? Wow. That's the Gorgeous. The, the chart. Hi, Diver uh, Divergent Crystal. Hi, Inga. Hi, Mandala Sparkles. How is it? Hello, hello. Oh, Mel's purchased the book. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, it wouldn't be Linda's show if it wasn't enabling you. This is called the Sea Song. Look at that. Look at the waves on that. You oh, I love that. It. The, the, the Sea Song. Beautiful. It is. And Siren. This is the Siren. Ooh. Beautiful, isn't it? I love it. That's a beautiful it's, book. It is, and it was. it's well worth the money because... It, um, you get about, let me see how many patterns, I'll go to the front. And see. How much was it? Uh, just bear with me, let me get my phone. No, no problem. Get my phone, get my phone. Just don't want to miss anybody in the chat. No, 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 I'm watching the chat for you, no problem. Okay, thank you. Coco, it's uh, Linda's um, conscience talking. <laughs> I paid 
thirteen pound nineteen pence. That's UK pounds wow. sterling. Yeah. So I pay, and I think you might pay a little bit more than I will in the US. Of course. And Canada. But yes, I will definitely so pay a little bit more than you. <laughs> Yes, I know. Because, um, well, you know, you know got the glossy. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. You've got the glossy. This one, um, that. This is called Wind, Wind, Hover, Wind Hover. Beautiful. So, yeah. There's, there's one here. Look at that one. How fine that is. Wow. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah. Sorry, I have to go now. Bye, April. Thank you. I'm on my cell iPhone and I can't pull up the membership link. Oh. I don't see the membership link itself in the description box otherwise i could just copy it and drop it in the chat yeah you see what i, I mean you yeah. need to be on it i'm not sure i know granny d tried to join quite a few times but she had to go if you're on your iphone elizabeth you need to be on either your computer oh and or maybe go out and come in something like that Debbie's ordered it and Mel's ordered the book. Oh dear. I just want to show you as well, which is really, which I think is really good. It gives you yarn. There you go. Thank you. Um, Coco has got the membership link. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. That's magic. And then wow. It gives you the um, just quick diagrams. I mean, I know a lot of us are quite. Um, Oh, Luna's here. Hello, Luna. Hello, sweetie. You're back for my pocketbook. I'm back for my own pocketbook, Debbie. Never mind yours. And then I was watching Miss Jeannie, the Yarny Fiber Sisters on Saturday. Saturday? Mm. Was it in here? So I know Miss Jeannie. Butterfly Dreams with Jeannie. She showed this book. So before she even went through the book, I <laughs> bought it. Yes, why wait for the end? <laughs> why wait for the end, guys? So I bought it. And I'll tell you how much I paid for this one. That link takes you to this live. Right, okay. So I know, Elizabeth, I know that um, uh, Granny D had to go on a computer to join the membership. I'm not sure how it works. I mean, I always, if I want to join somebody membership, I always go on my computer because I never get it on. At first, I used to be able to do it on my phone. I, can, I can't do it on my iPad, but I used to be able to it. But maybe in future you can just uh, take the link and put it in the description box. Then the mods can always just drop it in the chat. Yes. I think. It should, I thought it was in the description box. Unless what it does it say is it, yeah, it just says um, the ch uh, channel members um, who are members and thank you and uh, Facebook and Instagram but and blog, but not, yeah. So not oh, the, uh, I don't see, I, I, and I went to other videos, so I couldn't see it there either. So Oh, Katrina's got it. Katrina's got it. Thank Ooh. you. Where did she get it? Tell us the secret. She must, oh. she, uh, I know Katrina's on her computer. So let me just find out the price of this book. Mosaic Crochet Workshop, I paid £11.30. And the link for this is in the description box below, but it goes through, let me just see, look at that. I love it! Uh, this is by... Uh, I Spain love it. 
I love those big letters. I've never, ever thought of uh, doing those big letters as a design, uh, yeah. like writing as a design. And what a great idea. Yes, and it, it gives you all getting started, understand, understanding mosaic crochet, gives you your tips for the tension, um, making the stitch, goes through all the yarns as well, hook sizes, um, abbreviations, your notions for other items you'll need, and then uh, colour theory, and then look at that for projects. Look at that. Isn't that amazing, that mosaic? Wow. Uh, That's amazing. I love it. I can't wait to learn to do mosaic. I know Katrina and uh, Laura, Laura I, <laughs> I'm so desperate to start, but I've got six whips I need to get finished before Christmas. And I didn't because I know once I start, I'll never stop because I've I've, pra I've done a practice heart square, and the little devils, good devil and bad devil, was saying, good devil was saying, put it away. You've done it. You know you can do it. You've done the tests from Tina's videos. You can do it. And the, the devil is saying, go on, put them away and just have a go. And I'm thinking, no. <laughs> Uh, hi, welcome back, my super pink bee. Um, Luna says, Katrina is one of my smart friends. I can't wait to meet her and give her a big hug and kisses. Oh, oh, that lovely. Look at this one, black and white. Oh, Doesn't that love it. Love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you've got the block, you know, you've got your, your, your grass. Yes. Oh, the graphs are beautiful. Yeah. And then... Um, Welcome, Instant Dream. Well, they always give you a different colorway, like there's gray and yellow yes. or gray Options. and gold. So beautiful. Yeah, play around with colors. Tea cozy. When I saw what? that, I thought it was the best, you know? Why do I use tea cozies? <laughs> no, you got my keep your tea warmer. Another <laughs> Veronica, you've nice. missed two books. You've missed two books already. She's on book three. You'll have to watch the replay. <laughs> um, this one. That's nice. Oh, I love it. I love oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Hi, Sandrine. Welcome in. Thank you for joining us. I've been watching everyone starting Mosaic and they do such beautiful work. They do, oh. don't they, yeah, Laura? They really do. And Crystal said she needs that book. But I'm just going to wow. quickly go through this book. Look at it. Look at the blanket. I love it. Then, you know, that pattern is easy to memorize, which means you don't need to be looking on to on graphs all the time which is great yeah. because if you don't yeah. you need it all the time you can relax oh beautiful beautiful yeah. hello veronica she's saying hello to me so i'm saying hello to veronica she has that oh, oh that's i love those those pom-poms at the end of each yeah. corner oh cute so you get your graphs, you get your written instructions, and you also give different colorways. So, you know, instead of doing that color, oh, you yes. do that color. Yes. Hi, I'm a Groovy Ninja, and I've forgotten your name. I apologize profusely, but it's nice to see you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. Uh, there's this one with the tassels. Oh, that's beautiful. Love it. I, I haven't seen one in that book that I don't like. Love it all. No. Hi, Corinne. Thank you, Corinne. It's lovely to see you. At some time, I would like to try Mosaic maybe next year. I have a long list of things I want to do. You and me both, Jackie. Ooh, you and me yes. both. You and me both. And, uh, yes. Oh, and then matching pillows. So they're just a few of the items in the 
in the um, in the book another throw this kind of let me go to the front and sit and i can tell you so we've got um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve throws in there and you've wow. also got a tea cozy a picnic set a cushion a rug and um, cushion more cushions a little handy clutch a scarf Fancy footstool, table runner, evergreen vases, wall hanging, Ooh. and a rainbow tote. Let me just see what that rainbow tote looks like. If I can find it. Oh, the there table runner. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. I love those letters on it. I love, love, love that. Yeah. Let me see if I can find the table runner. Oh, here, yeah. leafy table runner. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Wow. No, uh, I I've not seen Gina in here today. Um, I'm not sure. No, no, um, I haven't seen her. Vera. Welcome in, Vera. Vera's here. If I've missed you, I apologise. I'm just seeing quickly if I've missed anybody. Um, David is going to try Mosaic this year. I tried Mosaic this year, which was one of my goals, but it didn't really work for the design I was trying to create. Never mind, David. I'm sure you'll come up with something in the future. And Hannah says, wow, to that book. And uh, definitely want to try mosaic, maybe a table runner to start. Yes, why not? And uh, so the last book is the book that Ursula, and I think oh, it's upside down. So yes, yes. I, I bought this. Um, I think you've seen um, in Ursula's live going through that and it's really a book about creating custom scarves cowls hats socks mittens and gloves and it just gives you the um i love the templates that it gives you that you can sort of fill it in if you want to design your own patterns that yes. i love this one here this here yes yes and that yeah they're, they're really good so you know kind of the glen hat so and, and it shows you how to measure for the hat how to measure for the, yes. the cowls so you measure the cowl is in the front and the scarf is in the back i didn't know that yes yes and socks as well Very interesting. Is really handy only i'm knitting socks not crocheting but it gives you all the calculations for crochet socks you know, but um, there is a pattern at the back so that if you want to try it, you can start off and try theirs and yeah. then go on and design your own. And you even get some um, uh, stitch dictionary as well at the back. And I like this book because of the spiral bind. So it'll lie. It yes. Flat, which is good. So I'll bring I love that. Here, I've got more scanned pictures of my first grandbaby to send her. Oh, that's brilliant. When's the baby due, Corinne? Oh, I think you've got her email address. Oh, she'll be over the moon to see them. Let me exit solo. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I know that seemed to take forever. I'm sorry, guys. I'm no, what are you that. saying? That oh, was what we are it, here it for. Be, uh -huh, it wouldn't be Linda's yes. life without anybody. I mean, that's what we want to see. Any yarn lover would love to see a book on how to use that yarn. Put it to good use. Yes. Yes. So, Oh, the baby's due the 14th of May. Oh, do you know what it is, hey, Corinne? There she is, says Coco. There she is. Here's Ursula. Linda, yes, you thought I was in I Linda's know. head. Right? <laughs> oh, 
and Katrina's niece is at the hospital and the baby is on its way. She's having a little gale. Oh, that's lovely. And Corinne is saying hello to this, you know. Hello, Corinne. Uh, no, she's 13 weeks, three days. Oh, oh. So she won't know yet, will she, what she's having? Oh, bless her. I heard on uh, 17 weeks what I was having. Yeah. You know? Yeah. When I was when I was having my children, when I had my boys, I never had a scan for either of them because in them days you didn't. I mean, my eldest is four, 40 and my youngest is Ooh. 37. No, it's 37. <gasps> yeah, yes, it's 37. Were you the I, age I'm, of all the I'm Because you said what? Did you say now 40? Did you, is it 40 or did you make a mistake? No, my son is 40. My eldest son is 40. Because I'm thinking yours is 40 and mine is 22 and 20. 20 and 22. I just started late. That's all, you know. That's the thing with late yeah, boomers. I started start late. And um, Coco says, were you the angel or the devil in her head, Ursula? <laughs> angel, Coco, don't you know? Angel, of course, goody two shoes. <laughs> I will not lead Linda astray. <laughs> Definitely not. And LJ is saying that uh, she found out at 16 weeks with Madam, didn't want to wait. <laughs> Well, I had no option, but all I prayed for was that I didn't have girls. I never, ever wanted to have a girl. I only wanted boys. But you, do you have a brother? No. 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 See, you I've only have sisters. sisters. Yeah, Is that so why? Yeah, that I didn't want girls, no. I wanted, I whatever I was my first one, I wanted the second one to be as well. So, like, either two boys or two girls. I didn't want... One of each. Not like you get to I choose. <laughs> um, Coco says she always wanted a baby girl. Yeah, you got, did you have, have you got three boys, Coco? Linda, I only wanted boys also. I got three no girls. Yeah, I only wanted boys. My daughter is 14. These times nobody told you. Those times though, yeah, no, they didn't. And with my first one, I never even had a scan. Or the second one, well, with both of them, really, I didn't have a scan. And they were both three days late. Wow. Days wow. Late. wow. Wow. Yeah, you don't definitely, definitely, you definitely don't get to choose ACL along. Yeah, Linda, three boys. Oh, I, I, I remembered. <laughs> don't forget the thummies, guys. So I'm going to drop the link. So if anybody would like to come up and join us, you're more than welcome. And um, yes. I just want to say, Roberta says her oldest is 54 and the youngest is 45. Wow. I hope someday I have a granddaughter so I can buy cute clothes because I only had sons. Yeah, Lord, Lord, definitely I will. Thank you, Coco, for love. Hubby has two girls and a boy. That's right, Katrina. You only have girls, didn't you? Wow. Wow. Uh -huh. And Sylvia has two sons and a daughter. And LJ, to be fair, me and Hubby are 34, and I don't think our parents knew with us. They didn't have the option to find out. No, no. I never had any babies, but I would have made a great mom. Yes, Looney, you sure would have. And Paul has got two boys, 46 and 39. And Katrina's eldest is 22. You see, that's why I say Katrina's my daughter, because she's the same age as my eldest son. And uh, because Katrina, my, my oldest is also 22. Yeah. So, so they're Raven, only different in man. Uh-huh. And Raven has got four boys, one girl, God. Oh, she wanted four boys and one girl. And God gave me three of each, and I only gave birth to one. Nice. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's, that, that is good. And Bella, Christina, 
has got a boy and a girl 11 years apart and Vera's got twin boys 34. Hello Cheryl welcome in sweetie how are you? There's a lot of estrogen in one family cat yeah definitely <laughs> I, I because I came from um, you know a fam uh, you know I had two sisters I only had one two boys and um, you know I was very, very lucky that I got two boys. My kids are all in their 40s, says Sylvia. <laughs> wow. And he's got two daughters in their 30s and a three-year-old granddaughter and a five-month-old grandson. Oh, that's lovely, Ruby. That's really sweet. Right, I better drop this link I before I forget. I was the first uh, granddaughter after seven grandsons. So, uh, apparently, it was quite uh, an uproar. Well, um, my my mum has got three elder brothers, and they all had boys. So, there was... Wow! Uh, I, was the eld I was the eldest... I was the first granddaughter on my mum's side. And then on my dad's side, there were three boys, and then I was the first granddaughter... On, on my dad's side, so I was the first on both sides of the family. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, Raven's oldest is 34. Wow. Christina's saying hello to Nisi. And Nisi's got two adult girls, and our son is nine. I have also a grandson and a granddaughter. Lovely. So I've dropped the link, guys. You just go into Facebook, so I can not into Facebook, into uh, YouTube, so I can pin it at the top. Pin it. As you do. Yes. As you do, and take the volume off so it doesn't play. Uh, where is it now? There it is. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to open it. I want to pin message. Jeannie is here. Hello, Jeannie. I didn't see you coming in. Hello, Jeannie. Welcome in, honey. And um, flip flops and lollipops. I could say that all day. Flip flops and lollipops. 37, 35, <laughs> and a 28 year old girl. And Rita, who's that? Rita, look at Rita, has only one, and that was the son in my uh, I'm the only one that has a son in my family. The rest are all girls. Yeah, Ooh. my dad. Uh, yeah, we have six kids and seven grandbabies, and one on the way. Oh, lovely Raven! Something really nice to look forward to. My yes. sisters yes. had five boys between them, and I had the girls. Yeah, my my out of my mum and dad's family. Well, out of my mum's family, my mum is the only one that had all girls. Her brothers had two boys and a girl. Her three brothers had two boys and a girl. And then her sisters had a boy and a girl. Oh, no. Oh. Hello, Miss Coco. Hello, Miss Linda. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? We're doing good. You're I looking good. I'm care of, but I'm back. So, Coco's back. Yeah, I missed you. And I didn't see you around for ages, and I was thinking, oh, I, I hope you're all right. <laughs> Miss everybody, too. I should have came back regardless, regained my sanity, and then get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> so, things be with you okay? Things, yeah, things are better now. Things are better. Okay, yeah. Sylvia, are you, you, uh, are you, you've been poorly. Erin wanted six kids, but it took us many years to stay pregnant to adopt in China and they got pregnant. Oh, that's Ooh, beautiful. That happens a lot. Elizabeth, I'm so glad. When I was younger, I wanted 13, actually. Oh, my gosh. I've got a super sticker of Miss Jeannie. Oh, thank you, Miss Jeannie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And... You know, on Saturday we were in the uh, challenges live, and I ordered the pom poms instead of going like this. Well, the Amazon <laughs> reported my money because for some reason, so I had to go on X, E, 
eBay and order some more pom-poms and they're not coming down till Saturday. Oh, no. So I'm not impressed because I wanted my pom-poms to say, Woo! I've got a super Hi, Thank, Jean, you. Jeannie. Thank you. We've got a, a shop like Dollar Tree, that, yeah. but it's called the Crazy Store because everything is five bucks and below. And um, yes, they sell things like the pom poms, anything you want that is now, you know, like, like a dollar, exactly like the Dollar Tree. It's just called the Crazy Store. So, yeah. And Pam, she was one of 13 children. I had one daughter and she turned 48 this year. Wow. Wow. Lovely. But it was busy in your house, uh, Pam. 18 children. Oh, my word. Did you say so one eight? You know? Sorry? Did you Sorry? say one eight? One three. Thirteen. Thirteen. Wow. Wow, that's still a lot. That's a lot of children. So what are you working on, Coco? Um, I can't show you yet. It's a test pattern for fiber spider. Wow! Oh, oh, this is yeah. Nice. It's Christmassy. I'll let you know that. It's Christmassy. So look out. He's going to do a tutorial and uh, release a pattern soon. So. Oh, lovely. Wow. Oh, look forward to seeing that thing. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy with my one child. Endometriosis can cause fertility issues, though. I'm lucky to have it. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. But you've got little Erin. Is she being good? Is she being good, LJ? It was cray cray and all all single beds as well. Oh my word. Oh. We have a store five below, says Sandrine. Sandrine, are you in Alabama at the same as Miss Jeannie? I think you are, aren't you? Where about in Canada are you, Coco? I'm near Montreal. Montreal, near Montreal. Yeah. And LJ is one of four myself. Yeah, I was one of three and I hated it. My mum had 15 siblings. She said she didn't want all that madness. I'm her only child. <laughs> wow i always wanted just one more sibling just so that i can yeah. have an option <laughs> so that yeah, i have one the other. sibling to go to yeah. <laughs> i wanted options i know no options uh, miss miss <laughs> Jeannie, she's got six kids between the ages of uh, two 30 year old one 27 year old two 25 year old and one 24 year old the four that are they're the same age are not twins three girls and three boys wow genie well i read that wrong i thought you had six kids between the ages of two and thirty wow. and like that's a big gap <laughs> genie wow. hats off to you i yes. did not know that you're I not, not too you. <laughs> respect the r-e-s-p-e-c-t definitely Definitely. I have eight brothers no, and sisters and all their kids are all on the same day. Hey? Oh. <laughs> no wonder she's so organized. I know, so organized. I have no children, was not blessed to have any, and I wanted three. Oh, sorry to hear that, Sandri. <laughs> Luna. <laughs> So do you want to see my uh, my granny square blanket? I'm not sure if everybody's seen it. I don't think yes. I Yes, did you see there? Luna says she's yeah. got eight brothers and sisters. And they were all born on the same day. <laughs> I should hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh I've got solo, solo. That is looking. Oh, I got a glimpse. I got a glimpse. Ooh. I've just got the border to do. Um, let me just put myself on solo and not kick So now what are you going to do? Have you got a flagpole to hoist it up? <laughs> I'm <laughs> even more than a flagpole, I tell you. It's, it's taller than me. All 252 no, squares. Like, and then just throw it. That's gorgeous, though. <laughs> 
Yeah. I never would have thought to arrange them that way, but that's awesome. I just, uh, I designed the pattern myself. Well, I didn't, obviously, I didn't design the granny square, but I obviously designed the pattern of the blanket. So yeah. you go, the green is in the middle, then you've got cream. Oh, I love that. Blue, tape, oh. Like a grey blue it is. It's like a grey mm. blue. Yeah, I love how you did that. Beautiful. So they're all joined together. So now I've got to sit with it, the whole blanket, and do the frill. So that <laughs> is going to crucify me. I'll be working. I'll be doing it in my underwear, guys. I tell you. Unless it's a freezing cold day. And then another blanket I've got. What are they saying? Thank you. You'll be a naughty so hooker on those days. <laughs> and so you are also a matriarch. There we go. And this is the Lizzie Cow that I did. Yes. With a yes. 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 That's beautiful. I love those colors. Gorgeous. Yeah. Your mom is really blessed to get that. Do you think you'll do another one next year, maybe? Another cow. I'm at, I'm at, no, uh, no, another Liz. Well, probably not another Lizzie, but I mean, because you're gifting that one. But it's such I'm beautiful colors. One. I do. Wow. Yes, I know. And it would actually go nice in my lounge. And the last thing I want oh. to show you is. I think you'll have to tidy up once this live stream is done. I know. It doesn't take, <laughs> after I've been on the live stream, it takes me half an hour to get my room sorted. And, oh, look, Angela. You're getting brave, girl. Yes, I'm brave. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Hello. This is Good to see you. Canada. Is that right, Canada? Canada, yeah. Welcome, oh, Canada. Uh-huh. Hi, Susan Burke. Welcome in. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for your comments. What was that, Linda? Linda, you're so fast. I have too many whips. I need to finish my projects. I no, know. but all I you need to do help. is to do a Linda. Focus. We just do a Linda. That's all you do. And then you get progress. Rick says to me, what's everybody saying? Do a Linda, do a Linda. What's that all about? And I said, look, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> so just put myself solo for the last time, guys. Yes, like yes, to... yes. No problem. No problem. So this is Debbie. my hashtag Simpson term by knit along Ashton Shawlett by D.O.K. And I finished it, guys. I just need to block it. Oh, that's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Wow. Those beads in there? Yes. Oh, yeah. Pearl, pearl beads. Mm, lovely. I thought the pearls that I just need to block it because these need to come to points like this one. This is exactly the same shawl, but in a different yarn and on smaller needles. So I need to. I love it. My, uh, my others to. to um, my chair Love over it. there is just piled high. <laughs> so I've achieved quite Hello, a lot. And I, was, I always, I've got a note on, um, on in, in, I have a note in, um, like a notebook. And I, as I finish a project, I write down, and so far I've done over 50 projects this year. Wow. Well, I mean, there are only 52 weeks in the year, and the year is not done. I probably started about that many. Finished maybe five. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got two on park. I've got a knitted shawl on park in the garage, and I've got a jumper in the garage as well. But, so they're in the garage for now. They're having repairs done to them, and they'll come out whenever. <laughs> Hey, Susan. I take them out for a spin. <laughs> I thought you said you had them in the garbage at first. Then my, no. then my ears woke up. <laughs> garage. Because <laughs> they say parking, so I think, right, well, you're going in the garage for now. <laughs> so what are you working on, Angela? Nice to see you. Thank you for coming up. Um, a sweater for my daughter. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. How old is your daughter? Pardon me? How old is your daughter? 
She's 30. I started really young. <laughs> She's 30. Wow. Okay. So I had her when I was 16. So it's like making a sweater for yourself. Yeah. The size. <laughs> yeah. You're not making it for a five-year-old. I don't know if I could handle a five-year-old. <laughs> I don't, I, I say I would love a child, but not doing the school thing again. Thank you. Not no. teachers meetings and all that. No, 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 no. Uh, Elizabeth, so, I'm going to show us. Called my precious Yarnery. If you do the Google say my precious Yarnery, and that's my lovely Ursula will find and drop the I will. I will. My precious Yarnery. And if you're not subscribed to Angela or Coco, then please think about going to their channels and leaving some love and giving a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, know, awesome. watch video, join their family. Join our family. That would be great. And if anybody wants their links dropped, by all means, you know, just if you've not got a blue dress, just put CC. And I'm sure some of my mods in the uh, ch chat will... Uh, drop your links for you. There Stunning we go. My precious yes, John. It's snowing. Zach says it's snowing here. Oh, really? Already, Zach. Jeez. Uh, but Angela, there. are you are you busy knitting that uh, project right now? Do you have it there to show or not? Not not. Just one panel. Yes, because I'd like to see it. I'll just show you, put your solo so we can see. Oh, that's it's beautiful. What stitch are you doing? It's crochet. Yeah. It's crochet. Wow. I have like another one right there that I made my mom in my with no sleeves. She didn't want sleeves, so my daughter wants sleeves. It's just, it's a half double crochet. Really simple. Wow. That looks lovely. I wow. like the colour of the yarn too. What yarn are you using, Angela? I grabbed We Love That Yarn from Hobie. Oh, is nice. Is it soft? Yes, it's soft. Very pretty colour too. I like yeah. that colour. That very yeah. soft beige. She Times neutrals are, look, uh, are really nice. Yeah, she um, works in an office, it's... so she needs something neutral and nothing too exciting. I like mm. exciting. <laughs> Bye, David. Hi, David. I like exciting when it comes to a blanket, yeah. but a wearable neutral. <laughs> it's just. CC only 12 subs to do. Bella Uncian. Uncianto. All right. I will, I will. And Elizabeth's joined your family, Angela. Oh, thank you. Thank oh. you guys. Thank you for this. Is what's brilliant about this community. Everybody's supporting each other. It's just brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And, you know, and, and you know, kind of, if you're stuck on anything, you know what you've got. If, if you want to kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? If you want to brainstorm with somebody, you know, there's somebody out there who, you know, will give you a hand, you know, or, yeah. you know, help you. Well, guys. Next year, one of my um, uh, challenges is to do the entrelac blanket. Oh, I'm doing it as a memory temperature blanket. So last night, I was trying to find the temperatures for Malta, where I was born, for 1960. But they didn't, the, the records didn't go back that far. Whoa! So, no, they didn't. I, I searched the, it took me an hour to search the internet. I tell you. So the next big thing I did was last year I was 60. So I thought, okay, I was 60 last year. I'll get the temperatures of every day in Malta from last year. So I've got them all. And the coldest weather, if you're listening, was 54 degrees. Oh, and, the highest, and the highest was 100 degrees through the whole of last year. So I've worked it out. So I've got 12 different colors. Is that Celsius or Fahrenheit? 
Fahrenheit. Yes, Fahrenheit. Of course, Fahrenheit. No, of 54 course, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. 54 Fahrenheit to 100 oh. Fahrenheit. So I broke it down. So I've got it all sorted. Um, so I've kind of worked between you know, I've worked all the numbers out. So I've got 12 colours to pick now hmm. for the temperatures. So, and they're going to be blues and purples with greens and yellows in them. I'm going to use the yellows for the hot, hot weather and the blues obviously for the cold and then I'm going to kind of work in between um, adding other colours into that. So I've done it. I've sorted it. Awesome. That, that was when I started my temperature blanket, that was just, I took two days to just sort out the look up temperatures for the last year, figure out um, how high and how low the range, how I, how many colors I wanted, and getting that in one type of yarn, all in one brand, was my my challenge. Because uh, yeah, so yarn. we've got it. Yeah, I got I got it was um, yarn from Turkey. Um, the one that I've got is from Turkey. It's Kartopu, yes, and it's oh, yes. beautiful. It's a thin three weight. It's a three weight, but it's thin and it's got a, a shine to it, and it's just beautiful. I'd like to make some wearables in it, actually. I'm using, you know, the uh, Lizzie blanket that I did. Yes, that is Stylecraft DK, which is a three weight, and I've got I've got the yarn. Um, LJ says it just occurred to me that when I try this mosaic blanket, it won't have ends. You carry the yarn, witchcraft. <laughs> Hi, Lena, Lena's designer. Rita. Rita. Hi, Rita. I'm lurking today. I'm so mad. I want to sit here and listen and crochet. Oh, never mind, Rita. I just appreciate you lurking. And Ursula, I love your lipstick colour on you. Gorgeous. That's nice. Thank you. So these are these are some of the colours that I've got. Not Ooh, pretty. Really cool. Ooh. The colors, so there's uh, all the colours that I'm going to use for the blanket. So, really so yeah. question, question. If you're when you're going to do it, how are you going to organise it? Are you also going to how are you going to do it? Because I kept mine in that square. I can look at it from here in that square, uh, see-through plastic container so that and I put the temperatures on each ball with a um, little pin so that I don't have to go and look it up so but how are you planning to do it well I'm going to lay them I'm going to lay them all out and then go through the temperatures and arrange them because I want purples in there because that's my favorite color so there'll be blues, purples, you know, different shades of blues, different shades of lilac, greens, and then, you know, the oranges and the yellows for the hot weather. For each interlock, the, the, the end, each, everybody knows what the interlock is. It's a little square. Isn't yes, it? little so beautiful each square video. will represent one day, and there'll be 10 stitches, eight rows. So, when you think about I it, was just thinking, how's that? It, it, yeah, it sounds fantastic. Yeah. So, um, so each temperature, but on the lay on the ball bands, I'll put sticky labels and put the temperature on what each is. But I need to lay them out and and, and be happy with the layout first and what colours I want so, to use. Okay. So say. Okay. So what? Uh, yeah. What I wanted to know is once you're happy with it, will you make a legend, like a key, or will yes. you put it in what kind of project, bag, slash Well, I've box. got a basket. I've got a basket. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. I wanted to know the basket. practical That's side. That's what of I did. For, yes. For that. Oh. Right. Yeah, for the Lizzie blanket, I had um, a basket and all the colours were in the basket. So 
I could just pick up the colours what I wanted. And the beauty of it is I already know the temperatures, whereas um, Ursula has to do hers at the weekend. So kind of I have I got the so if I've got, you know, so many, you know, hours in the day, you know, so yes. I'll do month every month because it's only oh. part oh, of the challenge. You're gonna kill that. They're going to kill that. Look, that is well, the part of the challenge was that I have to wait. And I'm not good at waiting, getting yeah. it done, you know. But I was yeah. thinking I really want to do one uh, for 2020 because it was such a monumental year. And, uh -huh. and that's yes, why I've, I'm I'd like to do it. Kind of mine's not only a temperature blanket, but it's a memory blanket. Well, because yes. I was sick last year. I couldn't do the year I was born, but I could do last next last year. Plus, with COVID as well, so it's kind of twofold. Entrelock, I've never done it before, and I've Ooh, I'm never going to do that. Blanket, and then the other challenges to do. I found I've decided on the pattern I'm doing for Mimosa. Doing the Casablanca. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> yeah. And I'm doing them two colours. So this is going to be the prominent colour, the turquoise, and this is going to be the mosaic. So I'm doing it in two Very pretty. Colors. It's mine. I'll say it'll go this with my lounge. I'll say the colours of my lounge. You see, I did a Linda, and look at my progress. Since I did a Linda. Sunday. Okay, just since Sunday, from here. That's awesome. Wow. It's pretty color combos, too. Just since too. Sunday. Yeah, that is. That's what happens when you do a Linda. You see <laughs> progress. You see progress. That's what I wanted to see. It just occurred to me that when I try this mosaic blanket, it won't, won't have ends. Uh, you carry the yarn witchcraft. Uh, no, you do have ends. You do have, well, we'll have ends because as you can see with my Lizzie blanket, I've done a border and that's what you do with the um, mosaic blankets too. I suppose you could weave them in. And LJ said, I thought about doing a temperature or mood blanket and doing it in a seven round granny squares, but I'm not sure how mood would work as I'm a bit of a grumpy old cow in the UK weather is an inspiring. LJ, I'm definitely not doing any mood blanket soon. Alters temperatures. <laughs> One, because I was born there, and two, because I knew it wouldn't be quite so, I wouldn't have such a wide temperature you know to source out the colors so mm -hmm. anyway I, i've done it i was yeah. back to end though i did find a site for mosaic where she came up with this like kind of reverse carrying your yarn so you still oh. go back to the other side but you kind of pull the yarn not too tightly across and then go over it it takes more yardage but it is doable if you don't want to have to encase your ends after yes uh, back again it's okay um Lynn, hannah says linda planning question will you start with the memory blanket and mosaic blanket in july in january or, yes they'll both be done i'll work out how many rows are in this there are four um, i'm not sure how many rows there's a save Hold on, repeat the pattern. For a second, I thought so Sandrine I, said she quarries the yarn. <laughs> sorry? I thought Sandrine said she quarries the yarn because it's my real name, Cory. <laughs> so I got confused. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what I plan to do is work out how many rows I want to do for the, um, the mosaic and divide it into 11 because in December I'll spend the time doing the board so i'll divide that into 11 so say that i do say i do 100 rows 110 rows so that means i do over the 10 months i do 10 rows is it yeah 10 
I, so I do 10 rows of mosaic and then I do um, a mo 30 or 31 or 29 um, little squares for the interlock. But I'm also doing, um, I'm also with, you know, Kim's knits and crochets. You know, Kim from Kim's knits. Kim's crochet and knits, yeah. Crochet. Well, I'm doing the sock challenge with her, which is called Sock It To Me Challenge. And I'll be doing a pair of socks a month. That's a cute name. So I've got quite a... Wow. Quite, quite a You've got a schedule for 2022. Woo! Something fierce. Yeah. I know. I'm literally going to be leaving room for... I'm leaving room for... I find now, so maybe it's because it's the end of the year. I find now that I, uh, if I don't plan anything for the weekend, I actually get something, you know, if I plan to crochet, suddenly I have visitors. <laughs> you know, people rock up and I'm like, no! Oh! You know, it's time to crochet, it's time to hang out in live streams, and yes. So, yes, you need to see people too, but uh, yeah, then I don't get anything done on the weekend. So, Rita says, "Yes, you are so beautiful, honey. I love the colours. I'm working on mine to almost the same colours." Well, would you believe it, Rita? V, Ursula, and myself have the same colours in our lounge. Ursula lives in South Africa. I live in the UK, and V lives in Georgia, US, and we both yes. got the, all got the same colour scheme in our in our lounge. I actually posted on Facebook when I was looking for the next color, you know, because I, I must do another pattern and I'm looking in my thingy what color to use next. And I throw it on my bed and I saw that even my, our bedrooms are the same color. So I, I, sh I showed that on Facebook. I had to post that picture because it was just hilarious. Because I have had friends that, you know, come through to my, I say, come through and sit in my bedroom and let's talk. And they like, you really love blue in this house, eh? Hey? <laughs> you don't realize yeah. that every room is sort of shades of the, the same color scheme, you know, neutrals and turquoise and duck egg when blue. I thought about it, it showed it in your bedroom. It's the same colors in my bedroom as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I, I wonder if it's like... just, it's uncanny. Yeah. The word is, I think the word is. It's uncanny that yeah. it's just like that. Bye, Sylvia. Bye, Jackie. Thank you for stopping by. Hello, Deneen. Welcome in. Another Canadian joining us. Deneen's from Ooh, Hello, hello. Hey, I said it right. Oh, that's fine, Sylvia. I just so appreciate you stopping by today. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank that's good. Yes, and it's all, yes, we have good taste, we sure do, guys. I couldn't believe it. You know, when you showed it in your bedroom and I made a comment and, and then I kind of went in my bedroom and I thought... <laughs> I have to go, guys. Bye. Sorry. Bye. 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 It is because now um, after this, where are you? What are you going to do after this live stream? I have already had a bath because we started later, so I knew I would end about nine p.m. So um, yes. So what are you up to after this live stream, Linda and Coco? What are you up to, Coco? Uh, well, I'm going to finish this up. I've got a few rows left, and I'm going to trim it just because I want to and send some pictures to Craig. I already sent him his feedback, so I'm going to finish this up, send him his pictures, and probably clean up a bit. I haven't done that in a while. I'm oh, it's good. so day by you. You see, I get so confused when there's so many hours between us because I'm like, from here on, it's, it's weird. How do you say? Chilling. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's only like quarter to three in the afternoon here, so it's a test pattern season a, for Fiber Spider. You've got a lot of Wednesday left. <laughs> yeah, you've got a Hi, lot of Ruby. Thank you for stopping by. And Deneen's got a Mary Maxim mystery bag today. Oh, nice. Ooh, oh, lovely. 
and Katrina's getting, going to get ready for work. And Rita says, my, my day Enjoy just started at 11.44 a.m. Oh! <laughs> if I went there, could I have Wednesday over again? Uh-huh. And Hannah says, I'm so bad with colours. How can I choose the colours for a mosaic blanket? I use a color wheel. I like yes. to use a color I wheel. I must have to tell you. Right <laughs> yes, I don't put them in. I put. I take them. <laughs> oh, <don't go. laughs> I you use get, a color wheel. Yeah. Yes. So this is the color wheel, Hannah. If you use one of these, so I'm using. I actually invested in one because they do have online and you can print it, but it's not the same as that actual one. Because then you take a yarn that you like and you hold it on next to that thing and it shows you which three or four or two, which goes best. So let me just turn the slides off because I think we might be able to see it better. Right, okay, so. Yes, there you go. So this is the colour, I'm using these two colours, the oatmeal yes. and the turquoise. So the turquoise is here yes. and it goes, if you follow the arrows straight down and then you've got the Do you want to solo yourself so they can see better? Yeah. Just asking for them, I think. Right, okay. So these are the colours, and even here it's, it's blowing out. Can you see? No, 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 it's not blowing out. You can come closer. It's fine. Just tilt it slightly for, that the top is forward. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. So these are the colors that I, I, I've gone for. And if you go down, you've, you've got the, these three, well, four colors to choose from. Or these four colors. Yes. So the, that's why I chose them for them two colors because I knew they would look good together. So yes. invest in a color. And yes, you absolutely. And if you turn it over, show the other side. Yeah. There it shows you shades of whatever, how yeah. to use it. I love, love, love it. Yeah, I always have. I've always had one of these because obviously I used it quite a lot when I did my mixed media. You know, I did a lot of mixed media canvases and, and, and all other things like that. And um, so I knew this was kind of my my lifeline and it's just I just continue yeah. on with my I must say I'm new to the color wheel. I probably bought one just before lockdown for the first time, but it has been fantastic to have one because I sort of run out of ideas and you know then you make a mistake in choosing a color that eventually doesn't look so great. And um as Linda showed you on the back You've got that a very narrow triangle and then a broader triangle and then a, a square. And every corner will tell you these four colors go together or these three. And that's the, that was, to me, the great thing. And if you yeah. go through your stash and you find a color that's on the other side where you had the, you know, you just hold it next to it. And then those things, those triangles and squares do it for you so it's fantastic hello rose welcome in thank you for joining hello. us you're not late at all sweetie and she's another canadian hello and Janine is feeding daycare kids and then quiet time i will be checking my mystery bag then nice Janine. nice oh i can just imagine sitting yeah. down checking me on after feeding daycare kids wow i know wow but, uh, I hope you've all had a nice time today. I have. I've enjoyed it. I've enabled you yet again with new books. <laughs> I'm going to finish my Simpson Turnpike shawl tonight. I'm not going to bed until it's done. And there's only six rows left. So it's. Mm -hmm. I am well, going to doing a little on that shawl. Uh -huh. I'm going to be sitting and I'm going to, when I finish the live, I'm going to. Put everything back to normal in my craft room and in my, in my crochet up because everything piled on the chair willy nilly and then i'm going to have a nice soak in the bath 
and then I'm going to sit and watch, um, might watch a movie tonight with Ray after me back and do Ursula, I'm testing Ursula's show pattern. So hopefully uh, I might get it finished tonight and then again I might get it finished tomorrow. Because you've made excellent progress. But you know, I'm going to, I finished watching Blacklist, so I felt quite lost. So someone suggested how to get away with murder on Netflix. Wow and wow, that is gripping drama, crime, investigation. Wow. Yep. So, <laughs> uh, yes. What's I'm watching called? that on the side. How to get away with murder on Netflix. It's this professor that has a class. It's called Criminal Law 101, but she calls it she says, or as I say, how to get away with murder. And as it as it as it um, progresses, that's what, that's, that, that's what it's called on Netflix. Yeah. Yes, how to get away with murder. I'm telling you, <laughs> I would uh, develop a drinking problem or something if I had to go through what they went through. Start smoking oh, Lord, or something. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Have you seen it, Coco? Yeah, yeah, I watched that a few years ago. Wow. I tell you, it's nerve-wracking, but you can't stop watching. Nope. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, are there quite a few what seasons? Are there quite are there um, seasons? Yes. I don't but I'm two season one already because I couldn't stop watching. It's gripping, I tell you. So it's really good. And, um, but drama. Lucifer is a good one. And uh, Bella is working on her pick and mix cow so I can get new stitches tomorrow. Excellent. Is this. I'm waiting. The, Bella, is that um, Ladybirds, Lisa's? That ladybird Lisa's um, cow and Rita. Oh my goodness, that's a great idea because I love how you choose your colours, Linda and Ursula. I use that when I'm quilting. I never thought of using it for crocheting. Yeah. I'm sorry, I have to go. We'll be came home. You're more than welcome, Hannah. Thank you so much for joining us today. Take care. Don't be sorry. Be happy he came home. <laughs> so yes, enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh, oh, you know, I mean, listen, um, Linda, it's like you with that, uh, what did you say, everybody on the spinning wheel? So I'm like, we glad he came home. And, you know, I didn't want to say it, but uh, hopefully he brought the paycheck home too. <laughs> more yarn on the way. More enabling. So. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. But Rita, that is fantastic because there's someone, uh, was it in, I was a lot on uh, Facebook today, on and off, on and off, and I saw someone with quilting squares. But, you know, now we I look at it with the crochet mind and I'm seeing little squares and the stripes you can crochet and then little, you know, and all in one blanket. I'm seeing that, whereas other people are seeing a quilt. So that was so interesting. Fabrics with different little patterns on it. That is so doable in crochet. So you can grab love inspiration it. from anything. Yeah, yes. I tell you, but the Pinterest hole is the worst because oh, I fall Lord. down that surface after three hours and I've done nothing. So I, nothing I, to I show for the three hours. I forget to sleep when I go on Pinterest. Just like <laughs> time flies. I know. What do you think? That's a good idea. You think to yourself, oh, well, I'll, I'll spend, I'll just spend a couple more hours and you look at the time and you think, well, it's that time. Yeah. And <laughs> end up with like 30 tabs open because you don't want to lose where you were, but. I know, I know. Wow. It's, it's, or I'll just have a look while I'm drinking my coffee. And mm -hmm. you're like, your coffee's empty and it's gone, oh, it's still there and it's oh, cold. My tea gets cold. I don't get time to drink the tea because my fingers have to move. It's not moving on its own. Yes. I know. You need one of those helmets with like where you put the beer cans except for coffee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> with a 
a straw. Yeah. <laughs> I wish they can get one where, you know, you can put the goggles on and your eyeballs can make the stuff move while your fingers still crush. I'm sure that's coming. <laughs> I know. I know. It's matter time. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, it was an ABC network show for six years starring Viola Davis as the professor. Oh, yeah. right. Yes. Uh, how how'd you get away with murder? She did brilliant acting. I thought she's playing that role. Wow. And there's one place where she sits and she has, and she just goes to from, you, well, Coco, you've watched it. She's got a beautiful, she's got her, what, what, what do you call it? Wig, wig on and eyelashes and makeup and everything. And she just sits and she starts taking an eyelash off, an eyelash. Well, she started with taking the wig off, then the eyelashes. <laughs> and then just started with a, like one of these little Kleenex thingies that you wipe your makeup off. I said to Jessica, if I was her, they would have to pay me a lot to do that on camera. Yep. <laughs> because you're left with a blank canvas, you know? So, hey, wow. It's amazing what makeup can do. I can tell you yeah. that. I said, I once read there's no such thing as an ugly, what? Ugly or a beautiful woman. There's just poor and rich. That's it. That's it. Because money can change anything you see, you know? Yeah. If I had all the money in the world, there is no way I would go on to or have Botox. I, I just wouldn't do it. I, I, I no, 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 no. But before you get there, before you get there, you don't have to go I there. A lot of things you can do before you get there. So, I, I, I just wouldn't, the thought of somebody putting a knife and stretching. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that either. But there's a lot before you get there. The road Something is long. I wanted to try. I heard there's like an acupuncture <laughs> that actually tightens the, your face muscles. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't mind trying that. <laughs> I saw that. You know how it, um, the one that I saw, how it works is that it's, um, what it does is it causes microscopic scarring. And because it's scarring, you can't get a wrinkle on a scar. That's how it works. So it is, well, the one, I'm not saying it's the same what, that you saw, but the one well, that it I was saw. Just, it, was, um, it was acupuncture and the way they position the needle tightens, it causes your, your muscles to tighten. I haven't tried it, so. <laughs> Rita, it's a funny. Rita says, I, uh, I laugh out loud. I hear you, Ashley. I will not do that no matter how much they paid me. Too funny. Listen, I watched that and I said, Jessica, look at this. They must have paid this girl a lot to do this. So that was hilarious. No, I, well, I looked at it and I thought, I want to, this episode alone, these next two minutes, probably going to pay for the first how many episodes mm -hmm. because uh, that's a lot right there yeah. because I mean she cleans up beautiful oh she's gorgeous definitely definitely there's some beautiful hi Joyce welcome in working while working until my next meeting thank you Joyce I appreciate Ooh, you to away, my sweetheart. coming in today and Coco, it's lovely to see you as well. Good to see you guys I know, too. When, I know when I see you in the morning, it's kind of hi and bye because, you know, the start yeah. of my day. And, well, at least I give you the package, the thumbs up and the little hello. I appreciate it. It's fun to see you in the morning. That's why I know, oh, it's almost time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> bye, guys. I'm going to bed. I just grew up. <laughs> Most of the time when these USA folks come up, it's either it's after lunch for us yeah. or very early in the morning. I've had when uh, Joe and Dana comes up and I wake up and it's like, I'm just in time to say goodbye. <laughs> Literally, hi and bye. Finished. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Rita, uh, Ruby says, I don't look much different with makeup or without it depends on your features yes and, and you know your features have a lot to play 
to mm. to do with it and that but i i just put i just wear mascara and eyeshadow and that's it for me and a bit of lipstick and i might put it's a bit in the jeans on, it's in linda's it. jeans so <laughs> That's and whenever good. I don't wear uh, makeup, Elizabeth, every time I go to my mom, she's like, you look sick. What's wrong? I'm like, Ma, I just don't have makeup today. Like, back off. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? You're sleeping so, so I always yes. hear that. If I'm not wearing makeup, people, my colleagues used to ask, you feeling sick today? I'm like, no. This is just the uncut me in natural. <laughs> so, <laughs> rather than going to you wear our natural. Agreed, I'm Pam, every single one of mine as well. Absolutely. So, okay, so it's time for me to say adios. Hello, Linda. Welcome in. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you're well. Lovely to see you, but we are on our way out, guys. Um, I can't even believe the two hours have gone already. It goes so quick when you're having fun. But it's... Uh, yes. So in the evening and I want to go and have a nice bath, have a nice soak in the bath and warm up. And did you notice I've only had one power surge this this time? Usually on my lives I have about 20 and my helicopters on as a, as vehicles my fan. So you know, if the winter helicopter. comes, are you going to have less? Well I hope so. I hope it I hope I don't get any at all in the winter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking happy. I was going to be cold to this evening because it's it's cool outside but i've been rushing to get ready for this live and i thought oh, maybe i should have put something warmer on but then as we get talking you know i don't know it just the blood pumps and there we go and i thought i'm so glad i didn't put anything hotter on i'd be taking off <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, rita says that's what my son says he goes mom What's wrong? I go, I don't have my makeup on. Laugh out loud. <laughs> and LJ says, it's hard to put makeup on when a tiny terror is running off with it or trying to shove the brushes into places where brushes don't belong. Mm. <laughs> I tell you what, I have a photograph of my daughter, Jessica, putting makeup on my mom. The lipstick goes this. Okay. Ew, ew. Yeah. And the, the eyeshadow goes up here and then up here. And she was like <laughs> four or five. She was putting makeup on my mom. And my mom looked like a clown at the end. <laughs> oh, no worries, Linda. I, I'm just grateful for you stopping by. And don't forget the thumbies on the way out, guys. Thank you so much. Woo! 77 Woo! thumbs. That is fantastic. You know how, oh, what is um, Thank you. Thank interesting? You guys. Because since I started watching... I mean, I'm watching the live stream here and it says started streaming less than a minute ago. It doesn't update by itself, know, you know. That's you new. To... Bugs me. Isn't that weird? I Never know. used to say that. Never used to say that. Well, that is the longest minute I've been on. <laughs> yeah. It's an African minute. I tell you what, we always call it African time. If someone in, in Cape Town, well, well, we, we say that in Cape Town especially because in, in our province, up there uh, in, and in the north of South Africa, they are more, um, you know, rushed. But here in the south, we are more laid back. Now, obviously, it's also to do with the individual. But it, it, we have a reputation that we're on African time. If they tell you, I see you that time, they're going to be late. Or they're going to, because it's African time. It's just Cape Town. Just, yeah. it's laid back. So. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you for stopping by and thank you to each and every one of you for coming in today. I want to say thank you to Coco for coming up on the panel. Thank you, Ooh. sweetie. It's lovely to see you and I hope you get your secret project done, whatever you're doing. Yeah, soon, soon. Oh, yes. Then, and Ursula, as always, thank you for being my uh, sidekick, as they always call you. Say thank you. Bye to everybody in the chat. And uh, so, shall I press leave and then you can say goodbye to your? I'll be in the chat. Okay, sweetie. Bye, All right, thank you. Okay.
Bye, Coco. Bye. Nice to see you. Bye, sweetie. Thank you. So, guys, thank you all so very much for joining me today. Um, thanks, everybody, for your thumbs up, for your comments, for taking part, for just being, you know, part of my, my family. I'm going to love you and leave you. Take care. Stay safe. And most importantly, guys, be kind to you. Bye. Bye, everyone.